Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and you're going to watch a video here in a minute about how to use Discord. And Discord is a great place to get live auto hotkey support. I'm not there almost ever. I, I have an account, but I don't use it. So last Friday, and you can get the link below here if you're interested in, in joining us on Fridays and where I do stuff in like YouTube channel or my Zoom channel, you can subscribe here and I'll send you notifications to remind you. But I mean, we do live support there for one hour. However, you know, if it's not Friday at that time, you might want to use Discord. It's a, it's a great place to go get live help. You can search for other stuff there as well. It's kind of like Reddit. However, this one, you'll have a lot of people hanging out and will live help you with your auto hotkey code. And I'm uh, because I'm not a big user of Discord, I asked Dylan DeRosa, who, who uses Discord a lot, to jump on and just give us a quick demo. My plan is to get someone from the actual Discord community to give us a full walkthrough of here's the best practices. But Dylan clearly used Discord a fair amount, so he did give us a great walkthrough. Uh, Discord is a great place to go for help. Um, I, I push people there a lot because there's people there that are that know their stuff and they help for free and they're very patient. So it is just when you first start using it, it's a bit complex. If you go to the link above me, if you don't have an account, it'll redirect you to create an account. And then you'll basically get in there into that community and then watch this video to understand where you ask your questions. Cause there's a lot of stuff going on and understanding where, what rooms you want to do stuff in and then who you can see them and, and whatnot. So uh, it's a really good discussion. I hope you enjoy it and I uh, hope to see you next Friday. Uh, sign up to this link below me. Cheers. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, so welcome everyone. Uh, we're we're streaming here. Uh, I asked Dylan. Dylan was gonna. He he uses auto hotkey and he does stuff anyway. But he also some, Dale had asked about using Discord. And even though I have a Discord account, I don't actually do much with it. So Dylan at least has a little experience of of doing stuff on there. How, how you doing, John? Can you guys see Discord? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So this is Discord. Uh, this is your. Wait for Joe Clines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's let's wave to Joe. I'll use you as a test subject. Uh, yeah. So I don't have to show the private messages. So it's it's just like a simple messaging app. Um, it's kind of like, I would say, like a messaging, like uh, Facebook Messenger, and then Reddit along with the same thing. So it's like a form and messaging app together. And that's like the power of Discord. Well, um, and what really, sorry for interrupting you, Dylan, is what really confuses me is there's the auto hotkey server that you need to basically, I don't, you know, configure, log in, you know, like set. And then there are the users, so, and that, sorry for interrupting there, but, uh, and, and, and this is what I reached out to Geek Dude and Geek Dude said, look, when you already have an account, it's really hard to demonstrate that whole process because we're already, everything's configured. So yeah. I'll get someone to help me do um, a separate video on that, on creating the, the configuration and, and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you said, yeah, because I already have it. It's kind of linked through everything of my like Google account and stuff. It's it's kind of hard to show like a brand new thing and long to the server. But uh, but yeah, so you know this this would be it. And each server is like uh, a chat room or something or like a meeting room. And uh, these are your direct messages. So I'll show some stuff using yours. So I don't mess with anybody. But this is the auto hotkey server room. And when you join it, it'll pretty much look like this. And this is where you can go and ask help. It's the quickest way uh, you know, I found um, to actually get live help. Usually you get respondent in minutes or seconds. And um, how to basically use it in simple sense is you have your help. Um, these are kind of like, it's hard to explain. And, yeah. You know, they're, it's it's how the server's built with the bots. Like this is beyond my knowledge of Discord, but like you have little um, like threads of whatnot, kind of like the Reddit threads. And so these things will populate with help saying there's a room active or somebody's, you know, you can, you know, ask for help here. And once you ask for help, so if I click on it and you can you know, just scroll to the bottom if you want, um, type in your message and this chat room help ask here will now go to the help Where occupied. Sorry, uh, I don't know. Slow. Okay. Okay. You see my mouse? You, no, I don't see your mouse, but I see the highlighting. Okay. Can you see that? Uh, but that's why it was hard to follow. But, um, it was just very fast because I, I don't. I don't. John, John, do you see this mouse? No. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, but we can see the highlighting. So it, as long as you move it slower, it's a little easier to understand where you are. Okay. So yeah, so the help Juliet and help golf, that's where uh, in this help ask here, you'll click on one of these threads as an open room, open thread to ask for help. And then you type in your question. And then uh -huh. this help uh, Juliet or golf will move down to the help occupied, which is in the middle of it. And it will just populate there as a closed door. Like, hey, you're being helped here and somebody will help you when they see it. 
Um, and so don't make the mistake on asking for help in the help occupied uh, occupied because you'll instantly get kicked out or somebody say, you know, like you're in a private room, go ask for help in another thing. And so it just keeps it organized. And the bots usually do a really good job of saying this, like, hey, you didn't ask for help. You need to move over here or whatnot. And then when you're done, um, you type in dot close, which is a command, and it will close out the server and open the room for somebody else. Those are like the basic terms of how wow. to use this. I'm um, so glad you helped, did. I had no idea. I I messaged I people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know for dot close for a long time. Everyone says like close the room when you're done. I'm like, well, how do you do that? <laughs> uh, but let me show what, you. A were you bit. born in the barn? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so simple things of why uh, it's also cool that uh, talking Discord besides live chat. You, you know, it you can at someone to target someone directly. Um, you can target certain rooms or threads with the hashtag. And the cool thing is, I forgot what this is called, but um, you can use three back ticks and then type in the language you want to color syntax. So if I type in AHK and just type, you know, a message box, it should work. Um, hmm. And then you close it with three back ticks. And that's how it'll look. So this way you can ask for people's help and type in codes. Um, if it's too long, you will need to save it as a text in which Discord, I believe, automatically will suggest it. Hey, we'll save this as a, a just a raw text file so they can download because there's a certain character limit you can actually ask for. And then... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you haven't done this, but you can also, I see up at the top there, do a call or a video. And, and I don't know if that is also separate from sharing your desktop, because I know you can do that as well, right? Yes. So uh, Discord, you can start a voice call and you can just have groups of chats. So if I just show um, another one. Uh, so ignore the chat, but you can um, join and you'll be in like a private chat room and you'll see my mic's muted and whatnot. And yeah. other people can join. And so that's one of the things. Um, man, I forgot how to leave. Well, I'll stay in there forever. I forgot where the end button is. Oh, here it is. Right here. Disconnect. Do you see on the bottom left? Uh-huh. Did I say disconnect? Um, so, yeah. So it could also be a chat room, all right, uh, on the servers. And then we go back to here. You could start a private chat with any of your actual friends here. And it will kind of join in and show. Uh, do you want me to call you, Joe, to show it, to showcase it? Um, would that be hard because you're on Zoom? Yeah, I'm afraid it would okay. echo me. I mean, I, I don't think it's a a, a, a a complicated thing, right? So I don't know if we need to show it. Um, yeah, so it would just, you know, it will start ringing and, and you join in. And because of the holiday festive, Discord changed their sound to some, like, annoying bell sound, which is very scary when you hear it all of a sudden. <laughs> so, um, now, the video... Oh, what, oh, what's up? Sorry, let me interrupt you for a second. Are, is this, it looks like you're running the desktop application, is that right? Oh, yeah, that's correct. So you, you could go to the web browser, but, I mean, I recommend the desktop. It has way more features, and um, you can share your screen. Uh, and I believe, you, I mean, you can share audio uh, sources. Um, if you pay for Nitro, which is, like, their premium thing, which is not expensive, I think it's, like, 6 bucks a month or something like that, you can stream in, like, uh, 1080 or 4K or something like that with 60 FPS oh. and, and share higher, uh, attach higher files, um, you know, because of the limit of 10 mega, 10, yeah, 10 megabytes. Um but yeah, otherwise, yeah, you can share video. Everyone can share their screens, um, share your your voice, just like Zoom. Um, can, here's the one I, I'm not sure on, which I, I believe I know. Can later, let's say you and I, you asked me about shell hooks just because it's on my mind, right? And and, and I, I'm in here and I answer your questions. And then John has interest in shell hooks. When he comes to Discord, can he search and see our conversation? Only no 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 only if he's part of the group. So okay. right now this is a private message between you and I. Okay. Um, you can create groups like down here. You see day to remember. There's four members. I'm highly on the bottom left. There's so there's four people in that group. You can message yeah, okay. everybody in that group. And when the last person leaves that group, then all the history is destroyed. Otherwise, oh, you can leave it there forever. Um, okay. And it so keeps all the history. It's very good at it. You can search the history and type in what you want, and it gives you. You know, but it keeps session. your history, to be clear, right? It, everybody who's in the chat, it keeps the history of. Uh, yeah, but what I'm saying is if I come in, would I see that? You wouldn't see it if you came in afterwards. Like, so, if, like, say right. if uh, me and John had a conversation right. for a month and then you came in the next week. That's what I'm saying is it's your history, history not right. – yeah, okay. Yeah. See, and this it's really good to know because, you know, I send people both often to – well, to the – the forum to Reddit and to Discord. And I say, if you want live help, both Reddit and Discord are really good. But now I have a better understanding of like, look, if you're going to search for your, you know, answer, then Reddit 
clearly has an advantage there, right? But um, if you're trying to get someone to really help you live, uh, Discord is is the place to be. Yeah, then, I, it's... Oh, what's up, John? Excuse me. Yeah, it's the first time I really take a look at uh, Discord, and I, I miss, I think, part of what you explained at the beginning. How do I ask for help to anybody that could help me on auto at key, for example? Okay. So uh, yeah, I so, need to focus on the topic first, then ask for a question. Uh, yeah, correct. So after you join the live auto hockey server, uh, in the help ask me here um, column, you'll see help Juliet, help golf. It, it'll be definitely different names based off alpha, bravo, you know, the those things. And if there's a free room, you just click on it. And, okay. You know, you'll see a pop. So you first need to connect to the auto, auto at key server. Correct. Mm -hmm. And you, it's already there. Or you search for auto at key. How do you get to it when you don't have it? Um, I can give you the link. Yeah, there's a link. There's a link. Join, and it usually okay. it will connect through the browser first. And then once you're connected through it, then it will say, hey, do you want to open in your desktop Discord? And then it'll, it'll uh -huh. populate here on the left. So all these little pictures and things are servers of mine. That okay. I joined. Hey, Dylan, can you, can you open a browser? Just because you're sharing a screen. Go, open your browser and go to theautomator.com. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let me. Uh, I think I'm. I shared Discord. So let me uh, stop sharing and then share the screen. Uh, screen three. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, and then go to. Uh, yeah. Go to the automator. Did I type that right? In? I don't think so. D slash D dash automator. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I have a hot string for it. <laughs> there you go. And then uh, under Auto Hotkey in the menus, go to res Ultimate Resources. The, it's about midway. The ultimate list of Auto Hotkey resources. And on here, search for Discord. Right here, there it is. So that that's the link um, to the Discord server i believe actually click it it'll bring you to so it's a pretty link apparently i put that there but um because it changes and that's i think that's what it was was it, it it will update and i just so so yeah this this looks different than what you know as a first time user would join it would basically uh, log you in set you up and then eventually you'll see this where it says hey we we you have a desktop thingy so mm -hmm. we can the first time you will have to download it and yeah exactly good but um, but yeah. So that I mean, it has an okay. So, search thing. so there are the uh, help section that you showed, and the half topic section, general programming, gaming, are there kind of open forums or? Yeah, open topics where you could just chat with people about stuff, and uh -huh. it just keeps it organized. Um, yeah, okay. those those are the like on the Reddit thread. Uh, but you should not little... ask for help there. Uh, no, not not. Yeah, you, if you're asking for help, you would use this. That's based on the. Uh, the f rules of this server. And okay. honestly, everyone's really nice there. If you're going to break the rules, they'll just remind you, or the bot yeah. will, and, and it'll well, just correct you. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dylan. Let's say Jean and I are having a conversation in the off topic something, um, and we bring up, uh, you know, running of whatever. I can say, hey, you know, can you help me answer this? Let's go to the, you know, the, the que one of the question ones to, to actually move it. Because the thing is, everyone in that, thread for lack of better term room um they, they don't want to see everything. that yeah, yeah yeah exactly so that's why i think you it's and, being and when you go to the help uh, section uh, is it private or, or semi-private no. or uh yeah se semi-private i guess i mean you just know it's occupied basically um it's like a room with glass walls like you, you could see everything that's going on but you know uh, someone's okay. being helped in there so, so you, you can be to... a lurker in, in yeah. a, a chat uh, in a help uh, chat yeah Okay. Absolutely. So, see, these to help Julia and help golf are both open at the moment. Um, but if I click on them, I can see the past history of everyone who's asked to help. And here you can see the syntax and what they're helping. Well, um, you know, and so it's and, closed right now, but I can see the, all the history that's happened yeah. within it. And what's the difference between Juliet and golf? Nothing. It just means more rooms, basically. Different people answering questions there or... Yep. Yeah. So yeah, basically imagine like you go to a facility, you know, and it started off with one room and that, and so many people kept asking for help. So they just made multiple rooms so you could have more people to ask for help at the same time, rather okay. than everyone but, trying to ask for help with one room. Yeah. In the same and being mixed in with other, exactly. other topics. Yeah. Okay. So otherwise, yeah, there's no difference of what room you ask help in. But help me understand one. this, Dylan, because I guess I'm a little confused now, because again, let's say John and I, or whoever it was, had our conversation going through how to run a program and then you come later 
couldn't you search in there? Yeah, I mean, it does show you the stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. No, you can search in here. Um, you, okay. I thought yeah, yeah. you were saying unless you were part of the conversation, it wouldn't you wouldn't see what was done. So, so that's for direct messages. Only. Okay. All I'm right. Sorry. I sh- yeah. The, no, that's it's all right. Just yeah. for this. Um, okay. Yeah, but for servers, it's different. I'm pretty sure you might be able to. I don't know. Uh, you pro- you could set like what the history limit is, or perhaps I'm not too confident on that answer. But uh, um, because you have many controls of how you control your own server, okay. especially with the bots. <laughs> And, and this is, sorry, uh, Jean. So because I have my YouTube channel, I, I watch uh, TubeBuddy, and, this, and they they had a, a live Friday, kind of like this, where they help people, right? Mm-hmm. And they would have people could only submit their questions through Discord, mm-hmm. and it was it always cracked me up because it was such a pain in the butt because people clearly didn't understand how to do the stuff in Discord, and now I get it because it is a pretty compl- complex and robust tool, you yeah. know. It, I, th- I, I think want to ask a one on one question. Excuse me. What's up, John? Yeah. One, last question about a, a new big question. There are people monitoring what is in, in the help uh, topics. If it's closed and I open it and ask a question, there's nobody there at first. So there are users monitoring this, these channels to Correct. give help. Yeah. So, you know, obviously, if, if it's in the help occupy, you don't want to ask there um, because people are being helped already. Um, and you ask in the open. And then these people on the right, the staff, they'll get like notifications usually. Okay. Um, and you could set that up for yourself, um, especially when you join a server the first time, you'll probably get notified a lot and you'll want to turn off notifications. And so mm-hmm. these staff members usually leave those notifications on, especially for certain rooms or threads like the, the help section. And yeah. so they'll just get notified. And if they think they can help you, they'll answer quickly. Um, and they're, like I said, everyone here is extremely nice. I've never had anybody be mean mm-hmm. or, or something. Um, it's the Thank nature you. of Thank auto you. hotkey yeah. users. You know, they're amazingly, yeah. you know, helpful and nice. And yeah. yeah. And yeah, shout out to Rooney. Rooney was very nice to me. Helped me a bunch of times. And there's another one, um, Noah or something, N-O-U. He went out of his way to explain. He wrote me a direct message, like a huge thread of how to, like how this is done and whatnot. And they're, they're very helpful here. Um, and yeah, and yeah, you can search through this. Um, I think if you press Control F, it'll bring you up here and see how it says hashtag Help Juliet. Because I had the hashtag Help Juliet menu open, now I'm searching just between this. And then otherwise, you can search from a specific user. So I could probably find everything that I wrote, and that's what this looks like. So this is everything I wrote here. You can see me closing a thread, asking for help to a specific user, responding to them, and you can see my syntax and just. This is the quickest way um, I've always found quick help. Um, but yeah. Well, you know what right? confused me with, with earlier when, when I asked you what was your, and I forget what those are called, avatar, whatever, you know, your, your name. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's effective. And then there's that pound 4639. Now, can the, can the pound 4639, is that unique? That that uh, I don't think you can set that. That's that is unique. So like, yeah, I okay. guess I'm the four thousand three hundred and you know, like, uh, effective out there. But you can actually change your name per server. Um, so mm. like, effective is what I signed up with because when I joined this, it was during you know video game time. <laughs> and uh, but in many different places, I just have my name or different uh, thing. Okay. And uh, also, uh, if you own a server, you can rename oh. people. Well, and actually, so let's, because I, I don't think Geek Dude cares. Um, on the left, it looks like you have his man cave kind of thing, right? Yeah. Um, and that's where these are different. Are those all different servers on the far left? This is where I don't understand. I get Correct. confused. Correct. Yeah, these okay. are all different servers. Um, and so that's, you know, I have AutoHockey and Geek Dude next to each other because they're the only two sure. AutoHockey servers I'm part of. Everything okay. else is pretty much games and stuff. Oh, cool. okay. Fun. Um, but yeah, this is Geek Dudes, um, which I highly recommend to join. I mean, here's me asking Geek Dude for help recently on Neutron. Um, and and that's just a simple thing. Like, he's got all his projects here. So I would just join one of these chats um, and just type in your question uh, concerning that. Otherwise, like, if you want to talk general, he has general and um, other stuff. And so that's basically in the Reddit sense. You're just joining a particular thread and talking about that topic there. You, you know, and, and I think, I don't know if it's, it's a human experience and I just have yet to get adapted to it. But what I noticed, cause I'm using Microsoft word in dark mode and I was having a really hard time noticing what was bold and, and the breakage and stuff. And I wonder if Discord was in the lighter version instead of the dark version, if we would see a better grouping of like that, these are all under geek dudes server. You know what I mean? Cause for me, they don't pop 
like really well? Um, yeah, that's a uh, so. I don't know about these being bolded or whatnot in the dark mode or the light mode. I know. But I mean, there might be lines that like divide them or something, and you'd see it clearer. Because I don't see it. Just to me, it's hard to distinguish, and it might just be because I'm older. No, I don't know. Um, or no, I'm just right. not. It, it is a little hard. There's a tiny arrow right here, consider like so, yeah. And I can close this kind of group here, uh, and you know, this is I guess bold or in capital letters. That's how they uh, define uh-huh. it. Um, the things that are light means there are new topics. And you can see also a half semi white circle saying, Hey, there are new stuff you haven't read in this channel. And the gray ones means I'm caught up to date on everything. So there's a, just a little visual notification. Um, yeah. I don't know if discord has a light mode. I actually never tried it. Um, it's just always been dark since I started. Uh-huh. Um, I guess we can see. That doesn't, it's okay. Yeah. I, I was just, it was what, something I noticed on, like I said, I was playing in word and I'm like, why can't I see this? And I'm like, you know, it might just be that I'm just not used to it yet. You know, mm-hmm. oh, there you go. <laughs> it's very bright. <laughs> yeah, it, probably it, to but it, use it does for me. It is a little easier, but not a lot. It's not. I was thinking there might be dividing lines that kind of segment them, but there's not. Yeah, but Actually, it, the light's pretty terrible. Um, yeah, I. I it, the colors are too bright. They should darken the colors, if anything, yeah. and then have a white bracket. But yeah. yeah. On a, anyway, thank you. Back. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, that's a great yeah. high level intro. Thank you, Dylan. That's that. I, yeah, You're I, welcome. I, and I know because from talking to Jackie, and I can't remember if Jean and I, I think we discussed it possibly as using Discord as your own like support channel for people can have stuff. I thought about creating one, and I still might someday um, as having it a way to, to you know, how did... Yeah, I mute. Oh, oh you now I muted again. You. <laughs> Trying to... Am I? Yeah, Wait. I'm on. The... Yeah, yeah, I muted myself, but I was not able to unmute myself. Yeah, I was going there. Uh, what you just said. If we have time, unless we have questions from other users, but um, how? What would you suggest for quick access pop up to to build a, a support channel on this? Would this would it be to create a server or create a channel? Or what's yes. the vocab- vocabulary that uh, describe right. what I would have to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, create a server. Absolutely, server. Uh, okay. I would join it immediately. Um, I do think, and yeah, especially for you, Joe, if you wanted to get into it, I I highly recommend Discord. I think it's the best way, especially when combining. Uh, your support um, and uh, and something like YouTube. It's where people can ask questions real quick, type longer things, have formatting for the questions, and you can share stuff, share videos. You can jump in the channel with them. So you can have, John, a a private uh, channel that only hosts two people, let's say, because you could set a uh, a maximum how many people are in there, and they only give this access. So it's hard to show uh, without, like, another person. But basically... You're in the channel and nobody can join it unless you drag their name into it. So like they'll, you know, so you can push them into it and say, hey, now you're in here. You and I are talking in a private channel. Nobody else can bother us and I could one-on-one support you. Um, otherwise, yeah, John, you could set up threads for different stuff about QAP, you know, snippets and, and uh, hot strings and this and that. Um, and ask for help in those topics so people could be organized and then people can right. look back. Um, you can also, I, I didn't show this, but you could star or... Um, you know, like make favorites of little things and people can search those as well. Great. Yeah. But yeah, I, I highly recommend that. So I, I, one I more this. channel. So there will be a <laughs> email, forum, um, Discord, YouTube, um, Facebook, which I do not uh, take care enough of. So yeah, but uh, it's good to have something live like this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I... I think there's some really big pluses to it. Um, and, and more to me, and it gets back to why, generally speaking, I don't help people one-on-one, especially, you know, someone wrote me the other day on Facebook and Messenger. They wanted me to write something for them. Custom, and I'm like, I don't support people one-on-one where no one else can see it. Like, you know, I'm, I don't have time to help people individually. You know, I'm, I'm working. And when I can help a lot of people, if your topic is generic enough, I can help a lot of people, you know, I'll, I'll do it. And we record a video doing it, but mm-hmm. um yeah, anyway, so but I, I do like this. What I like about Discord is okay, you can, if it's not in a private conversation, there'll be a history of it and people can go and read it later and see it. So that, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, 
it's but like you said, Reddit is a little better that it's a little cleaner to understand when you're going back. Like, you know, these people had a conversation a year ago and I can go search it with Google and yeah. you know, yeah. that's where Discord's not the best at. And they're probably trying to make their search thing uh better. It is a good search. Well, it's just not as clean gotcha. looking as uh Reddit would be. But for a I lot would of also people, say Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead and finish up, Bill. Sorry. Oh, so it, it basically is the replacement of live uh IRC chat. I think that's what mm -hmm. it was called on mm -hmm. forums and stuff. Like this is what it is, a live help. And, you know, this is like the forums and chat combined into one in a very clean, uh, the best it could be way. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the thing Jackie, that Jackie is using a lot for his project, too. Yeah. 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 And he has that um, the bot going to help answer questions, which, you know, is, is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, the thing I one of the things I don't like about it, which is what's it just it's it's in a, and I don't knock it because that's what Discord wants to do. But it's it's when you're first doing it. It's so it's so easy to switch off of your topic, you know, off of your server, um, and not even realize you went off of your server. You know what I mean? It gets, it, there's just so much that could be there. Um, it just gets to me a bit confusing of when, when you're new. But yeah, it, because it's so robust it, and it's definitely grown since I first joined it. Like it does get a confusing a little bit. Um, you know, I guess I'm not confused, and you know, maybe someone like you is not either because we've been using it for so long. Uh, right. But yeah, for someone who's just coming in, it looks very confusing, and there's a lot of words and letters and colors. So you're like, what is going on? Well, and that's what dawned on me from Dale's request was like, you know, I really should have, a, you know, in in the um, Discord should have a good solid intro tutorial video of you know an onboarding video of here's here's where you go, here's what you do, because it's a lot of little nuanced stuff. Right. Of like you said, and unfortunately, we couldn't see your mouse, but just pointing out, look, you go here, ask this down here. You can have other chats. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 